Hey, this is Jessica Albert, 13, playing Mass Effect. Oh, you might notice I have a lovely Dragon Age background on my Xbox. Reminding me of a game I'd rather be playing. But I've decided to play Mass Effect because it's my best friend Lori's favorite game. She loves the series. Well, I want to ram a cork of whoever invented this game's ass. Ugh. It's just, I've reached a very difficult part of the game that I probably shouldn't be in because I'm an idiot and didn't realize what I was doing. And in this game, you can't exactly cancel a quest line or whatever, so it's not like I can go backwards or change anything. I'm sort of stuck in a rut, and I really hate it when games kind of do that. You just get stuck in an area. You know, like in Dragon Quest, a lot of people have difficulty defeating Geezer, or not Geezer, the other boss, Calamari. But you could just go outside the town and level up. Well, in Mass Effect, it's like my only choice is either to go completely backwards, I guess, which would take a hell of a long time. But I really need to go forward and defeat this boss. Ugh, we're all the lovely aliens so far. It's just... If you're subscribed to me, you know I'm, like, a medieval fan, okay? When it comes to RPGs, I prefer it when they're in a medieval setting. When it comes to sci-fi stuff, I just sort of grind my teeth. Oh, look, a human! But, uh, I mean, I'm okay with sci-fi. I love the first three Star Wars movies, mostly because I was forced to. My sixth grade LA teacher made a study Star Wars for an entire semester, so I actually have a very intricate knowledge of the first three Star Wars movies. You ask me anything beyond that, and I'll be like, that's bullshit. <sighs> but apparently Bioware also does some sort of Star Wars MMO. Blech. That's my reaction just to the word MMO. Try... what is it called? Wow? I wasn't exactly wowed. And basically, I'm waiting for one MMO. That's freaking Dragon Quest X. Okay? I am freaking like freaking out waiting for that game. I saw a commercial for it today and I just started like, why can't I speak Japanese? Why wasn't I born Asian? Which is not fair. But, uh, let's play some. Mass Effect! Also another reason I, that my name's Jessica Shepard. Jessica! <sighs> because my real name's Emma, and I'd rather be redheaded with giant boobs. <sighs> Sorry if I seem to be talking a lot. I'm sort of on a rage high. This game will throw me into a rage, so I apologize if I cuss or scream or throw things. <sighs> For the boss, you're gonna see it's the, been, it's that matriarch tentacle lady. Believe me, you're gonna see this scene a lot, so don't worry about missing any line of dialogue because I freaking have this dialogue memorized. In fact, the only dialogue I have better memorized is the entire script of Dragon Quest VIII. Have you faced an Azari commander? In fact, the only before? script I know better than that is Dragon Quest V. Oh, how many times I love Dragon Quest V. I might rather be playing that. Uh, but, you know, speaking of Bioware, they also do Dragon Age. I really enjoy Dragon Age. I'll probably talk about that a lot. But doesn't that lady sort of remind you of Flimmer? Like, you know, the helmet and everything she's got on, sort of like the helmet she has on in Dragon Age 2. And bomb. I said bomb, bitch! 
And I'm already on the floor. That was... great. And I'm already dead. Really? They expect me to die in, like, under 20 seconds. Because my record so far is, like, one minute into the battle, and then I get hit with a blue wave of energy, and then I die. Like, I can't freaking understand any of this. The Mass Effect storyline I am, like, getting little bits and pieces of. Sauron's a bad scepter. He doesn't like humans for some reason. He wants to keep them out of the Citadel network of galaxy thingies. And he tried to kill this human colony so he could get a hold of this ancient technology, what's it? And Hawk, I mean Shepard, was sent on a mission and to retrieve the ancient technology thingy. She ended up awakening it and she saw visions of chaos and blah blah blah. Then she becomes a scepter because she proves that Sauron's evil in quests that require you running around basically a village for like two hours. It's just great fun. But it is important, that's where you get most of your characters. That's where you get Garrus. He also hates Sauron, and he's the same species. And don't ask me to freaking remember any species, because elves and dwarves, okay? Elves and dwarves are all that should exist. Then, okay, so there's this Garrus dude. You got two humans with you that were with you in the prologue. Ashley, she's in my party right now. And then a dude, I don't remember his name. It sounds like Angelo, but he's like dark haired and he's got an eyebrow thing. So he's not like attractive like Angelo, but I just remember him, Angelo. He's sort of like the... I don't know, the classes in this game are really weird. There's your basic soldier, and then there's all of your weird, like, there's not just a healer type, there's like, bioware tech, and it's all really confusing, and makes me want to puke. Like, even just typical healing in this game doesn't seem to work. You're given like, five medipacks. But you can only use one medipack per battle, and a boss battle only constitutes as one battle. So you can pretty much only heal yourself once. And these two bitches right here, I gave them like the first aid class or whatever. And uh, if you'll notice, there's nothing here that can even be used for healing. There's those attacks, overload, damping. Damping is an attack. I'm sure it's a technical term, but I really don't give a shit. Unity is actually one of the few healing spells or healing texts. I don't know. Unity is what you get as a scepter if you unlock enough skill points or whatever. And that will resurrect that resurrect your dead party members. But it does absolutely nothing for you. So only use it when both of them are down. If one of them's down, you gotta save it. Save it until the other one dies. <sighs> and another thing, y you can't seem to change your party members. Like in Dragon Age, when you went to different levels and stuff, you could usually, like, it usually brought up the offer of changing your party members. Dragon Age 2 it's even better because there's those little horn thing in the corner. You target it and that will change your party members in important places. Or when you go to the map or whatever. Here it seems like you pick two fuckers and you're stuck with them. For hours. I mean, hell. All of the other guys could be dead on the Normandy because Seth Green rammed it into a black hole. I'd love to ram something into Seth Green's black hole. Oh, you do not understand the privilege of being a mother. I don't know, I am female. I could have kids, you know. Sauron's enemies. Yeah, yeah. 
enemies or humans, why? Why are we bad? Hey, maybe if I get her to surrender. Yes, listen to the voice of reason. Or don't. You can just completely leave me fucked. Ugh. I've already tried this 50 times, so excuse my extreme bitterness. Blue bitch from hell. Take him out. You take him out. Look, why is that button so slow? Uh-oh, or three, apparently, to form me. 